Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the 3D Print Zone. In this video I'm going to be doing a Cura tutorial and Cura is essentially a third-party free software that you can use to convert a STL file to G-code and G-code is basically just a language that a 3D printer can understand and interpret so it knows how to build your model. Um, and there's a lot of different settings you can put in there, um, temperatures and speeds and different things like that. Um, so this is going to be a series where I go through the Cura software. Um, it's one of the most popular softwares out there, and that's why um, I use it myself. And I know a lot of people and makers out there use that software. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post lots of 3D printing tutorials um, and different types of videos related to 3D printing. So please uh, hit the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. And without further ado, we'll get started here. So I have my computer here. Um, you can see here I have, this is my 3D printer. It's a Ender 5. Um, and we're going to go through kind of the, the setup process of how to install the software in this video and then how to set it up for your 3D printer. So the first step you're going to want to do here is just open up any browser and search for... Cura, um, and you should be able to see the link for ultimaker.com. It's probably going to be the first link that pops up here. So you can see here, this is the kind of homepage, um, and we're going to go download for free. So another thing to note, um, this is Cura 4.8, which is right now the latest as of today. Um, so that's what version of the software we're going to be downloading and using. Um, so you could se select whether you're Windows, Mac, or Linux, so we're Windows, and click download. You can see it's about a 158 megabyte file, um, and then we're just going to go ahead and go through kind of the normal download process and install installation process that you would for any software on your computer. Agree to the terms that everyone reads, of course, in full detail. There are some other options here um, for other things you can install. Um, and there's also an option to open up different types of files within Cura. The main thing you're going to want checked here is open STL files with Cura because that's really the most common type of file. Um, these other options you can choose to select or not select. Um, in this case, I don't think I need those, so I'm going to uncheck those and click install. And this will take just a minute here. It is a uh, little bit larger of a software package here. Okay, and that's it. So after this, um, you should have a Cura icon on your desktop if you created an icon. And we're going to just go ahead and click finish and run the software. Okay, so this is the uh, beginning of the software. It says welcome to Ultimaker Cura. Let's get started. I agree to the user agreement. Next. Next. Um, you can choose to create an Ultimaker account. Um, I'm just going to skip that for now. So in this next step, this is going to be adding a printer. So this is going to identify um, the type of printer, or you're able to create a custom printer here. In our case, it's a um, non-network printer. So a network printer would be something that you have um, like Wi-Fi capability, and certain printers have that. Um, if you have that option, you may be able to connect via Wi-Fi as a network printer. But um, for all other cases, you would just select add a non-network printer. And so they have a list of all the options here. It starts with kind of all the Ultimaker printers. Um, in this case, we have a Ender 5, which is a Creality printer. So we can scroll down here and find Creality 3D. And then under there, we should be able to find Creality Ender 5. So go ahead and select that. You can choose to name your printer. I'm just going to leave it like that. OK, so these are some of your kind of basic machine settings. So if your printer is found in these options, then you will automatically have these fields entered based off of um, preloaded data. So the X, Y, and Z height of your printer. So that being your X and Y um, distance on the print bed, and then your Z is your vertical um, dimension. Now, 
if you if you cannot while going through the list, if you're not able to find your printer on the options, then you can select custom and then you would manually go in here and input this information. So this is something you can find on Google. If you just Google your printer, you'll know your X, Y, and Z height. Um, most printer bed shapes are rectangular. Some of them are elliptical. We have rectangular. Um, you definitely wanna make sure you have heated beds selected because in this case, we do have a heated bed on the printer. Um, it's fairly rare. Most printers start with the printer head at the front left corner. There are some where it starts in the center of the bed. So if that's your printer, um, then you would want to select origin at the center. Um, and G-code flavor, Marlin, you can leave that. Um, for the extruder settings, we have one extruder and it's a, it accepts 1.75 millimeter thickness filament. So we're going to leave all that as is and just select next. Okay, so now we can see um, kind of the user interface for the software. What's important to note here is this is kind of showing you what your print bed um, area is and then your volume in the Z direction. And we can see here, this is our origin, um, the triad in the front left corner of the print bed. So this is where the print nozzle is gonna start before it uh, starts the prints and then it'll end off at that same location. So just really um, quickly, I'm, I'm gonna go through in this video just the main kind of um, user interface where everything is located. And then in the next video, we're gonna go through um, some of the basic settings and then I'll have a follow-up video where I go through some of the more advanced settings um, depending on how what your skill level is. I will say that this video series is, is intended for beginners, but there's also value, even if you're someone who's intermediate or advanced, there may be some tips and tricks in here that would help you out and benefit you as well. Um, but you can see here, so the top left corner, um, there's two ways you can kind of load models into, your, uh, into the software. One, you can select it um, from your folder here, or you could just drag and drop right onto the build plate and that will work as well. Um, the top here, this is kind of a selection for what material you're using and what nozzle size you have. So, you know, common materials are PLA, um, ABS, there's probably, you know, several dozen types of materials you can print with. Um, PLA is probably the most common and we'll use that for the example. And the nozzle size is 0.4 millimeters. Um, this is pretty common for 3D printers. There are some with larger nozzles. Um, you, you rarely see smaller nozzles than that, um, but, but those are options as well. In this case, uh, we have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Um, so there's three kind of tabs at the top. There's a prepare tab, a preview tab, which is gonna give you a preview of layers once you've loaded a model. And then monitor is during a print. Um, this is an option where you can kind of monitor your print as it's going um, using that monitor tab. At the bottom left here, we have kind of different um, views of your print volume. So there's a, uh, a front view, there's a top view, and then you have left and right views. Um, and then this goes back to kind of an isometric view. For navigating uh, the model, so you can kind of rotate the model by right clicking with your mouse and that'll allow you to rotate. And then you can zoom in and out um, just using the scroll wheel on your mouse. I think there's also some keyboard shortcuts that you can use for this, um, but I typically find it's easiest just to operate everything with my mouse. Um, and then the next sections are gonna cover a little bit more in detail of settings. And I think that's something that most people have a lot of questions on. Um, common questions are like, you know, what print speed, what temperature, um, you know, how many layers, what infill should I do, those type of things. Those are all questions that are gonna be covered when we go through kind of the basic and advanced settings. Um, and all of those adjustments will be made in the software here. Okay, so that's really gonna be the end of this first video. Um, it's really just to show you how to install the software and then give a really brief overview of kind of what the user interface looks like, how the layout is of the software. Now in the next video, I'm gonna kind of go through some of these basic settings that you have in the right 
upper corner. And then in the following video, I'll do more of a deep dive into some of the more advanced settings and kind of talk through what those settings are and how they apply to your 3D prints. So thanks for watching this video. If you found any value in it, please consider hitting the subscribe button to be notified of future videos that I post. And I'd highly recommend that you kind of watch through the video series if you're a beginner and you're new to 3D printing. Um, it's definitely something that's going to really help you jumpstart your kind of 3D printing journey. So hit the like button if you found any value in the video and we'll see you in the next one.